Hello everyone and welcome to the altar decorating for December 2015 and I'm super excited about this one because it's the last one of the year! Yay! We've already made it through the year. Um, although I didn't start the altar decorating videos until kind of late in the year so it's technically not been a year since I've been doing these but it has been a full year. So I'm going to be decorating this altar and I've already put the altar cloth down to make sure that the white balance on the camera was set up the right way because otherwise I have to turn it off and turn it back on. And then I'm going to sage the area with my sage spray. Um, I didn't make this but this is one I bought on Amazon and it's sage and cedar spray. So it has sage oils and cedarwood oils in it. And then to start off I am going to put my longtime staple, my big chunk of selenite and I know this is probably going to ruin the white balance but um, this big piece of selenite I felt was a good time to put it on the altar because this is the last month of the um, 12 month calendar year so I want to leave 2015 and go into 2016 really you know clearing out some energy and putting good energy into the new year. So that's why I want my big selenite there. Um, I think I'm going to put it in this corner. Yes? No? Eh, we'll have it in that corner for now. It's all about feeling the energies of your altar and where things should go. A lot of people ask me, how do you know where to put things? You just feel it out. You just put something there, leave it, sit back, and see how you feel intuitively about it. If it feels good, leave it. If it doesn't, then move it. Um, and, you know, that's just a piece of advice I have for you guys. Another thing I want to have is a candle, which this is not a money candle anymore. I actually burned through that, but I put some um, glass chips at the bottom there, if you can see them, and then I put just a little white tea light in there. But I really love this candle holder because it really looks beautiful when you have it lit and it puts all these really cute little speckles of light across the wall so I really want to have that on my altar so I just put a new candle in there. I also apologize for any loud noises like the wind outside. It is so incredibly windy today. We're supposed to get a storm tonight, a snow and rainstorm so I apologize for the great amounts of wind outside. But anyways, moving on, um, I'm going to put a pine cone on my altar because I really like pine cones and they remind me of home from where I grew up, but they also are really good energy-wise because they signify, you know, they grow on a tree, they fall off a tree, they, you know, I mean, they basically are just very very earthy so it's always good to have them on your altar but I especially want it on my altar because these are cinnamon scented pine cones for Christmas and I want to have cinnamon smell by my bed because it's holiday time so um, that was one big factor in me choosing that. I apologize for my stuffiness I'm still getting over a cold onwards and upwards. <laughs> Again, I want to have my crystal quartz um, that is programmed for my business on my altar. So I'm going to put that here. And then I'm also going to have the hematite, um, magnetic hematite clickers or hematite balls, if you will, on my altar because these have been helping me ground lately. And so I want to have them on my altar for that. And I also want to have Numite for the same reasons. I want to end 2015 with grounding energies such as hematite and numite and higher up energies as selenite to help me kind of balance things out. You always got got to have balance if you can. And I'm also going to put some green goldstone. I don't really have any specific meaning for this other than it's sparkly and pretty and green and it re reminded me of Christmas lights. So <laughs> I'm putting it on my altar. Another thing I want to have on my altar is this tiny little treasure chest which I got from the Red Rose Tea boxes. And I want to have this on my altar because I want to have it signify that I want to be thankful for the treasures that 2015 gave me, but be ready to collect the treasures that 2016 bring me. So I thought that was a good meaning for that, and so I'm going to put it on the altar. I'm also going to put these little presents from my 
Little Puppy Echo. These are acorns that she found from somewhere because we don't have an acorn tree outside. We don't have a tree that produces acorns that I know of outside, but she brought them in one day. So I'm thinking that they're probably from fairies or just random things she found happen by, you know, chance. So I'm putting those little gifts on my altar. I'm also going to put the dollar bill that I found on the ground a couple months ago on my altar to, to help bring abundance for the new year and help bring abundance. I wanted to have that on there. And then I also want to have the quartz crystal point that's connected to my brother on my altar because I just really like having it there. I just feel like it connects me better to family and I just really like that. I also want to have a citrine piece on my altar because this is an abundance stone and I want to help bring abundance into 2016 and help bring abundance through December of 2015. So I'm going to put that right on top of that dollar. And then I'm going to also have a smoky quartz on my altar because it helps to clear negative energies and help um, with transitioning. So. A lot of people who go through a grieving process such as losing someone, losing a pet, um, this is a really good stone to have simply because it's really good for people who are grieving but it's also really good for people who are transitioning through something which could be grieving so that's why it's a really good stone to have but it also really helps with ailments such as sicknesses or headaches um, whenever I have a headache if I hold this in my left hand because I'm right-handed this always helps so um, if you suffer from migraines or headaches you might want to check out smoky quartz and see if it works for you but I'm going to have that on my altar because I just really want to have those kind of energies here and then I also want to have hematite which I had on my altar last month for more grounding energies because it's always good to ground I tend to need more grounding energies than I do with higher up energies which is why I only have one super high vibrational stone and a lot of grounding stones because being a starry and being a star seed myself it helps to have more grounding than upper level energies because I'm already so much you know in my head in the air so it helps to give me some roots to tie down with. This is my altar this month and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me redecorate my altar for December and I hope you guys will join me into the new year, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me, and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs> Bye!